welcome everyone we are discussing binomial theorem we have already discussed five types of problem i have already taken seven classes and i have already discussed five types of problem number 1 to find divisibility to find coefficient of any term number 3 to find independent term number 4 to find middle term and using problems using result of permutation and combination today i will discuss two typical problems of binomial theorem these are problem of competitive exam only now look at the problem find the coefficient of term independent of x in the expression x plus 1 by x to the power 2 by 3 minus x to the power 1 by 3 plus 1 minus x minus 1 by x minus x to the power half or to the power 10 now we know how to find independent term but look given term is not given in simple form but you can find it simple form by taking some calculation hello we know a cube plus b cube equals to a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square so our main aim will be to simplify the given expression so this will be our main aim so what is x plus 1 so look this is x to the power 2 by 3 so we can write x cube a cube plus b cube so x x to the power 1 by 3 total power is 3 so x so a cube plus b cube so by the previous formula this is a plus b a square so a square this is 1 by 3 so 2 by 3 minus ab 1 by 3 into 1 plus 1 square so in place of x plus 1 we put x to the power 1 by 3 plus 1 into x to the power 2 by 3 minus x to the power 1 by 3 plus 1 by x to the power 2 by 3 minus x to the power 1 by 3 plus 1 so look this is our main m so to cancel the denominator and look This is x minus one. So x minus one, you can write it root x minus one into root x plus one. And this is root x common. So root x minus one. So root x minus one is cancelled out. Obviously, total power is ten. Now. Next step, x to the power one by three plus one. This is remaining terms, and this is root x plus one by root x. So root x plus one by root x. So you can write it. X to the power one by three plus one minus one minus one by root x. So one one is cancel out. So finally we are getting x to the power one by three minus x to the power minus half whole to the power ten. So this is the simplified form. So this is our main look main task to put it in simplified form. Now this is single term. This is single term. 
so easily you can find independent term so simplified form is x to the power 1 by 3 plus x to the power minus r whole to the power 10. Now look independent term. Let tr plus 1 h term contains independent term, not involving x independent term. That is x to the power 0. So tr plus 1. 10 cr a to the power x to the power 1 by 3 whole to the power 10 minus r x to the power minus r whole to the power r. Now 10 cr x to the power 10 by 3 minus r by 3 minus r by 2. 10 by 3 minus r by 3 minus r by 2. So, this is simplified form of tr plus 1. Now, so this one is minus, I think this one is minus x to the power. So, x to the power 1 by 3 minus x to the power minus r whole to the power 10. So, there will be minus. So, minus 1 to the power r. Now, what is our given condition? So, given condition is x to the power 10 by 3 minus r by 3 minus r by 2 equals to x to the power 0. So, 10 by 3 equals to r by 3 plus r by 2. Omitting one step. Actually, 10 by 3 minus r by 3 minus r by 2 equals to 0. So, 6 and same. So, this is 5 r. Now, so 60 equals to 15 R. So, R equals to 4. So, we are getting R as positive integer. So, it is possible. Right? Now, <coughs> what is independent term? So, T5 is independent term. If you put R equals to 10, so, 10 C4 into x to the power 0 into minus 1 to the power 4. If you calculate this one, this one has 0. So, this is x to the power 0. So, minus 1 to the power 4, this is 1. And factorial 10, factorial 6, factorial 4. So, 10, 9, 8, 7. Then, 4, 3, 2, 1. 8, 3 into 3, so 210. So, find the coefficient of term independent of x. What is the independent term? 210. So, this is problem of J main and IIT also. It is also problem of WBJE. So, very simple one. But you have to simplify it and then apply the theory. Next, second problem. Now consider second problem. Find greatest value of the term independent of x. This is also to find independent term in x sin alpha plus cos alpha by x whole to the power 10, where x is real number. So, you have to find first independent term, then find its greatest value. Now, so this is in simple form. So, what is tr plus 1? 10 cr, it is r plus 1, so 10 cr. 
a to the power first term to the power 10 minus r cos alpha by x whole to the power r then write the coefficient term at the beginning so 10 cr sin alpha to the power 10 minus r cos alpha to the power r here obviously alpha is constant then x to the power 10 minus r and this is x to the power r so at the numerator it will be minus r so omitting one step very simple now given condition to find independent term x power of x is x to the power 0 so 10 minus 2r equals to 0 so r equals to 5. So sixth term is independent term. Now what is T6? So 10 C5 sin alpha to the power 5 and sin alpha to the power 5 cos alpha to the power 5. Now this one is Now, this is independent term, but we have to find Gettys value of the independent term. Now, to find Gettys value, so look, we know Gettys value of sin alpha or cos alpha is 1 and minimum value is minus 1. But here both sin alpha and cos alpha are present. They cannot be gettest simultaneously. So our main aim will be to simplify it. So 10 C5. This is 2 sin alpha cos alpha whole to the power 5 by 1 by 2 to the power 5. So this to be noted. To make it formal. So 10 C5, 1 by 2 to the power 5, sin 2 alpha to the power 5. So this is our main M. To put it in terms of single sign. So single sign or single cos. So what is the greatest Gettys value, we know, Gettys value of sin 2 alpha is 1. So, independent term, independent term, this is first part, what is independent term? 10 C5, 2 to the power, into 1 by 2 to the power 5, sin 2 alpha to the power 5. And second one, greatest value of independent term, independent term equals to 10 C5 into 1 by 2 to the power 5 sin 2 alpha is 1. So what is greatest value? 10 C5 into 1 by 2 to the power 5. So, you may keep it in this form, according to answer, you change it. So, this is very simple. So, you need only calculation of this part to find get a star. So, today, through this class, we have solved two important problem of competitive exam. So, first one is typical problem. So, thank you for today.